Jackson in this very theater one year ago on this night. I've since been maintaining the theater, keeping it uptight, cleaning it. I live up in the rafters. But don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Yes, don't mind me at all. I know this theater like the back of my hand. Back off. <laughs> like in this restaurant is the duck. <laughs> it's greasy, but it's worth it. <laughs> oh, hello! I'm so sorry to interrupt you, little performance. I'm a recluse here in this theater. Yes, I, I have received a horrible accident but one year ago on this night, and though I'm a recluse, I am pining for love. Now, do you know that I'm all single, and if you wish to uh, in an open or no, close, committed relationship with an older, more experienced man, then just meet me after the show. I'm not looking for hookups. Thank you! <laughs> um, I'll start over. What I like in this restaurant is the duck. It's greasy, but it's worth it. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. The traffic was terrible. That's okay. Uh, me and Martha don't mind waiting. <laughs> hey, so how have you, how have you been? Good. <laughs> you could say hi to Martha, too. Hey, Martha. Oh, that's so nice of you to remember. Yeah, how is that? <laughs> what? Well, the bathroom. You're remodeling the bathroom, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a lot of work, but you know, it's really starting to show results, which is great. Oh, I understand. We've been remodeling our kitchen. Or should I say, I've been remodeling it. This one's not doing shit. <laughs> Carson, you need to get rid of the arm. What? You have to get rid of that arm. It smells like shit. The blood is oxidizing. It's all I have left of her. I love her. I don't care. It's not healthy. Oh. Oh. Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. <laughs> Ian, can you back me up on this? What? The arm thing? Yeah, it's messed up, dude. That's easy for you to say. You haven't let go of Katie. It's different with Katie. We weren't in love. We were just casual, you know? Well, you guys have it messed up. Look, why didn't you just leave the arm in the casket at the, the freaking wake? Listen, this doesn't... This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that your loved one dies in an explosion and one of their limbs comes off totally intact. How can I leave that behind? Hey, Katie was in the same explosion. Yeah, that, that's really insensitive. Look, can we just eat? Can we just have a normal dinner, please? And can you turn the arm around? That gash is horrifying. Fine. I'm sorry, Martha. Well, this isn't bad timing. Um, it's actually Katie and I's one year anniversary. And though we were pretty casual, I thought maybe I'd sing her my favorite, or our favorite song, if it isn't too tacky. No, that's not tacky at all. That's so sweet. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a cover of the, the Shucky Brothers' Sweet Girl. Uh, we've, me and, uh, uh, we've actually been practicing it for about a couple months now. You ready to go, buddy? Yeah, fine. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Sweet girl, you're the one.
writing that beautiful piece of music? Well, see, I had this dream, right? I imagine there's a bomb, you know, and it explodes. And it blows the arm clean off your loved one. And you're like, this is my sweetie. This is the all I have left of her. And so you hold the arm on to you because you love her and she's your sweet girl. Huh. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I'll sleep there for a second. <laughs> Nico, you gotta get this narcolepsy checked out. This is doo You can't fall asleep. <laughs> I gotta head to work, guys. We'll rehearse tomorrow. You still working at the steel mill? Yeah, I gotta make a living. <laughs> well, I gotta make a living? What's that all about? Hey, listen. Not all of us are comfortable living this derelict lifestyle you two live. What's wrong with the lifestyles? I don't want to vape weed for every meal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll practice tomorrow. I'll see you then, buddy. Actually, speaking about it, I should go and look at some sponsors. It's good that you should say sponsors. If you were here last night, you might remember that we asked for donations. <laughs> Today we're not going to ask for that, because we have sponsors. And I'd like to read out their names. ExxonMobil. And now, if you'll please welcome the idea of my father. How are you, Daddy? Not proud, son. Not proud. But, Daddy... Not another word, son. What is this little magic show you got going? It's not magic, it's comedy. Yeah, yeah, where's the money? I'm not paying for four years of Ivy League daycare so you can do stand-up in some dark basement. It's not stand-up, Daddy, it's sketch. As far as I'm concerned, there's only two careers in the world. Business and law. Pick one. <laughs> I don't want to do either of those things. I want to make people laugh. Your haircut makes me laugh. Dad! Your clothes have holes in them. Stop it! Dad? Why are you doing this? Son, I have a sinking feeling there's something wrong in your house that you need my advice on. It's true. It's good you should mention it, Dad. The stove in my house isn't working. What do I do? Yeah, I know how to fix that. Why don't you know how to fix that? It's the pilot light. Under the stove, turn it on. Why don't you know how to fix that? All right, Dad, enough. Fine, I get it. I'll fix it. I was never properly taught how to show love, but I love you nonetheless. <laughs> what? Son, let's go play ball out in the field. Field of dreams by the shed. Grab your glove, practice makes perfect. Learn to use a hammer. Head, head, use your head. Grab your glove. Don't let them grab your boss you around. Yeah, Tell you your father, everybody. Everybody. That was 
really good. That's not where I know you from. You worked out at the steel mill. You worked the lathe. You're really good. You got broad shoulders, calloused hands. You ever thought about hitting the big leagues? It's just a day job. I do music. Well, if you're interested in a special offer, I'm working on a big project. Building a new city from scratch. <laughs> it's a little bit of a combo between New York and Minneapolis. And we're building it right on top of Des Moines. Not interested. Well, if you were, I'm telling you, you can make it big, kid. We're talking experience in forging, extrusion, sand casting, die casting, shell casting. We're talking spin casting. We're talking mold, permanent mold casting and working the lathe. You ever see that black and white picture of all the different handymen on the, on the big beam above New York and one of them's taking a nap and the other one's eating a lunchbox? That could be you, kid. I told you. I'm not interested. Well, here's in a car in case you change your mind. <laughs> hey, by the way, never heard of a duo group with only two members before. Well, uh, there is a third Chucky brother, but he's got narcolepsy. He's at a sleep study. That's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky, um, today we're going to be doing a sleep study, we're going to be putting you in the CAT scan machine, and we're going to see if your brain waves are different from the brain waves of someone who doesn't have narcolepsy. Mr. Chucky, are you listening? Sorry, doctor, I fell asleep on you. That's alright. So as I was saying, we're going to be putting you in the CAT scan machine, we're going to be seeing if your brain waves... Mr. Chucky! Ah! Sorry, doc, I have narcolepsy. I know, I just feel like you're not listening to me. I'll do my best. Nurse, can we get out here? Can, can you come out here, nurse? Uh, do a general check on Mr. Shucky. It's going to be a standard procedure, about 30 minutes in the CAT scan machine. NURSE! <laughs> Sorry, I also have narcolepsy. <laughs> I understand, but I feel like I'm the only person in this narcolepsy center that is a good listener. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I expect it from Mr. Shucky, but not from you, nurse. You're my closest confidant. <laughs> Mr. Shucky, if you'll please uh, walk into the CAT scan machine. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, I, uh... <laughs> it's funny, I, uh... I know what it's like to not get enough sleep. I was having sex until five in the morning last night. It's not common for me. I just met someone, and... Well, it's kind of taken off the ground. I'm not really sure if, if I should pursue it, or if I should get serious, or... Mr. Shuck, are you Sorry. asleep in there? <laughs> Listen, Doc. We all know you got something to say. Everybody wants to hear it. <laughs> Why don't you just say it already? <laughs> oh, we did that! Let's that down on the flag! Serious. I'm afraid at some point we're going to have to make a decision, and, well, I just don't really know if You're we're going to You're annoying! I'm leaving! Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, hey, Stevie, what's up? 
Not much. Stevie's face has turned into a gorilla, and you don't say anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> Your son Stevie's an atheist. But you, you're a devout Catholic. And masturbating, it's a sin. And the worst sin of all time is to have physical relations with an arm or a human hand. not my name anymore. They call me Rough Hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Now that you're a, a big shot in steel working and you got experience with forging, extrusion, <laughs> sign casting, die casting, shoal casting, slip casting, permanent mold casting, and working a lathe, <laughs> you think you're too good for us, is that it? Hey, I'm still a shucky brother, all right? I bet you don't even know how to sing anymore. Yeah? What do you say we do sweet girl for all time's sake, huh? <laughs> da, 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 da. Sweet girl, you're the one I need. I got you. Got the Wow, what a 